Okay, let's go ahead and write this number in scientific notation. And of course, the number is 385 million. So this is a pretty large number, and we want to write it in a different manner that is equivalent to what we're seeing it right now. So 385 million, of course, is 385,000,000. You know, uh, this might take up a you know a decent amount of space on your paper, but what we want to do is write this again in scientific notation. Now I'm going to explain uh, what scientific notation is in a second. But if you know how to do this problem, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. This is really important that you understand sci uh, scientific notation, especially if you're taking any sort of algebra course. So uh, hopefully you know how to do this problem. But if you forgot, don't worry. I'm going to uh, explain this step by step in just one second. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you the correct answer in a moment. And then we're going to walk through exactly what scientific notation is and how to write this number into scientific notation. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades. It really is my true passion uh, to help as many people as I possibly can learn mathematics. And I'm going to tell you right now, all of you could be great at math. And I'm especially speaking to those of you that have a tough time in math. Please do not give up. There's absolute hope. Uh, to be successful in mathematics. But what you need is great math instruction. So uh, you got to learn from someone or something that you actually understand. Now, I'm not trying to knock any uh, math teachers out there, but if you're not, you know, understanding uh, someone when, you know, you're, you know, their teaching style, for example, if you're just not, if it's not clicking with you, then you got to do something about it. See, math is a very technical subject. And it can be taught in all different kind of way. So it can be taught in a very technical manner. The way I like to teach math is to explain things in easy to understand language so everybody gets what go, uh, is going on without watering down what you need to know. So if you need help in your current math course, or maybe some sort of special test that has math on it, things like the GED, SAT, maybe a teacher certification exam, or if you're homeschooling mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different math courses that span these categories and much, much more. I'm also going to leave links to my math notes in the description as well. Most students take average notes. A lot of students, by you, <laughs> you might be shocked at this, don't even take any notes, all right? But they might take notes every other week. But listen, if you truly want to be great at math, you have to take great math notes. This is an absolute essential skill. So work on your note taking and things will get much, much better. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's go ahead and write 385 uh, million into scientific notation. Let's go and take a look at the answer. Then, of course, I'm going to explain to you what scientific notation is. But here is the answer, 3.85 times 10 to the 8th power. That is uh, 385 million written, in, uh, written into scientific notation. Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A+, plus, A100%, and multiple stars so you can tell your friends and family that you were able to take a large number and write it into a smaller number, i.e. take a large number like 385 million and write it into scientific notation. So what is scientific notation? Let's talk a little bit about that. And uh, basically, you know, we have to look at the root word here. Let's actually go back up to the title of this video, scientific notation. Like, what is notation? Well, is it like writing stuff? Yeah, like notation is the way we would write something, right, using symbols. So uh, we're talking about how we write something, and then we got this, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, scientific part. So it's like science writing, right, or you know, let's write things that, you know, are are going to be related to science. Well, let's just kind of break it down this way. So here we have the Earth, right? And here is like stars and galaxies. We all seen these uh, documentaries, or maybe you've taken like an astronomy course or a physical science, physics course. You know, the distances are crazy, right? From Earth all the way out to these stars, you know, way out there. You know, we're talking miles, and we don't even measure things in terms of miles. We measure things in terms of light years. But, you know, you're dealing with 
numbers like this, right? I mean, uh, you know, insane uh, distances, right? So in science, uh, uh, physics and things, I mean, like you could just go on and on and on. This is a very large, large, large number, okay? Now, imagine doing math and dealing with this number, you know, in other words, having to write this number out and then having to like multiply that by another number and just doing some manipulation with this number, that would just take you all day long. Matter of fact, you'd likely end up with carpal tunnel because uh, your hand would just be like, you know, it would just be too much, right? So we need a better way to write very, very large numbers or very small numbers, right? So if you're talking about like little like electrons and protons and everything else, their distances are like, you know, maybe like in terms of a centimeter or a millimeter, or uh, it could be like zero, 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 zero. I'm just going to write a bunch of ones. Zeros right here, one, seven, maybe millimeters, right? So again, when you're dealing with extremely small or extremely large distances, you know, this is the typical kind of um, thing that we are dealing with in science, okay? So we don't want to, you know, ha we use this notation. This is called expanded form notation. You know, that's okay with like easier numbers like 275,000, right? But when you're dealing with these extreme uh, sizes, whether they be large or small, we need a different type of notation. And that's what sci uh, scientific notation is. And scientific notation uses powers of 10, all right? So if you're kind of looking at this, you're like, hmm, powers of 10? Well, yes, that's exactly what it is. And as I indicated um, in the beginning of this video, if you're taking any sort of algebra course, you will definitely need to know how to work in scientific notation. And one of the things you need to understand is the rules of powers and exponents. So if you need help with any of this stuff, if you don't understand this particular problem, I'm going to suggest you check out my Algebra 1 course. I have a full uh, chapter on powers, exponents, scientific notation, everything that you'll need to know at this level. But let's go ahead and get into the problem. So 385 million, very large number. And again, scientific notation, we want to write this number in scientific notation. So the general format of a number written in scientific uh, scientific notation is going to be some number, okay? Now I'll just kind of leave that as a box right now, some number, and that number is going to be between 1 and 10, okay? So we're going to have some number, it could be a decimal, just like in our answer, uh, we had 3.85. So we're going to have some number between 1 and 10 times 10 to some power. Okay, so here's some examples of numbers written in scientific notation. So just notice here, 4.2 is a number between 1 and 10, and it's being multiplied by 10 to some power. In this case, it's a positive. And then here I have 7.9. Again, that's a number between 1 and 10 times 10 to some power, but I have a negative power. Now, this isn't a complete full lesson on scientific notation because we need to talk about how to take a number in scientific notation and expand it and how to deal with very small numbers, very large numbers, and whatnot. But, you know, this hopefully will give you a basic introduction to scientific notation. Don't leave this video be like, oh, okay, I think I, I know enough. You know, you need to follow through and make sure you understand this topic completely. But anyways, this will give you a good sense of numbers written into scientific notation. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about um, how to actually do this. So what we need to do is look at our number. Okay, so we have 385 million. Now, initially, when I wrote this number right over here, there is no decimal point. So you're looking around, it's like, hey, where's the decimal point? We have commas. Well, the decimal point, if you have like a number, uh, let's say 12, where's the decimal uh, point? Well, you can write 12 as 12.0 or 12.00, all depending on how you want to write it. So here is where the decimal point is located because we're going to need to do something with this decimal point. All right, so here's 385 million point zero, and I'm just uh, writing it that way because we need to know the decimal point. So what we have to do is use the digits of the number, okay? In this case, uh, the digits are 385 and, and all these are zeros. So we have to use these digits, okay, to create a number between 1 and 10, okay? So uh, 385, all right? Now, would that number be 0.385? No, that number's, that's not between 1 and 10. That's less than 1. Would it be 38.5? No, that's more than 10. Well, what's just perfect? 3.85, okay? So this is going, we have to keep the digits as they are, but we have to put the decimal point somewhere in these digits here. 
to form a number between one and 10. And that number in this case would be 3.85. So that's what we need to do. And now the next thing is we have to uh, count how many decimal points uh, do we need, how many spaces do we have to move that decimal point that, from its starting location to this ending location that we need it to go. So here it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we moved eight to the left. So we moved the decimal point eight units to the left. So that's our first step, okay? So what does that mean though? Well, let's go ahead and actually do the second part of this. So, well, again, uh, the digits that we want is 3.85. So to write a number in scientific notation, once we determine how many decimal points, okay, we know we want a 3.85, we put it all together like this. So it's gonna be 3.85 times 10, remember this is the basic format for scientific notation, to the eighth power, okay? So anytime you have to move the decimal point to the left, your power of 10 will be positive. If you have to move the decimal point the other way, it won't be negative. Okay, so 3.85 times 10 to the eighth power is the same thing as 385 million. And just in case you were like, no, oh, are you sure about that? Well, take 10 and multiply it by itself eight times. Okay, if you do that, you will get 100 million. Okay, so instead of writing 100 million, let's just write 10 to the eighth power. So 100 million times 3.85 will get back to that 385 million. Okay, so just a quick example of scientific notation. And uh, again, you know, uh, when I tell you things in my videos about, hey, you need to know this if you're taking algebra, or yeah, you really got to do this. Listen, you know, I, I've been doing this for, you know, not years, but decades, okay? And I'm telling you uh, things that, you know, when I emphasize something, I really truly mean it, okay? So if you really are you know, committed to, uh, to being uh, successful in mathematics, you know, hopefully you'll follow through on my guidance, okay? That's what I, you know, that's why I make these videos. So if you need help with this stuff, okay, a couple suggestions. One, I do have additional videos on my YouTube channel on scientific notation, but you probably uh, really might want to check out like my full Algebra 1 course, all right? So in there, uh, you'll need to understand all the properties of powers and exponents because that's, you know, of course, we are dealing with powers and exponents. Uh, so uh, that'll be part of that chapter. Okay. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.